Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use file parameters in your Jenkins project. Sometimes when we build our project, then we need a file to build our Jenkins project. It could be to read the information from the file or sometimes to upload the file as part of the build pipeline. We might have multiple configurations values written in the file and based on those values, we want to further trigger our build steps. So that file might contain all the information which is related to my build pipeline. I can also provide input parameters in my build pipeline, but if I have a lot of parameters to be added as part of the build, then it is good to use a file instead of an individual parameter. Or I might have some other requirements to upload a file. So using the file parameter option of Jenkins, we can upload a file and then we can utilize that file in our build pipeline. Now to show you how you can do that, let me first click on new item. Here, let me provide the project name. I'm going to provide the name as file parameter demo. After that, I'm going to click on freestyle project. And then I'll click on OK. The movement will create a new project then it will move to the configuration page and under the configuration we have the general setting and in the general setting you will find the option for this project is parameterize if you want to parameterize your project then you have to click on this checkbox and then from the drop down you can select which kind of parameter you want then here you can see in the list that we have an option as file parameter. So when we build our project, then we'll provide a file which we can use in our build pipeline. Here we have to provide the file location. Now the question is, what would be the file location? So what happens basically when we'll upload the file from the local system, then the file will be copied to the Jenkins workspace. So here we don't need to provide the file location from where we'll upload our file. But rather this location will be the file placed under the Jenkins workspace. So let's say that when I upload a file through the Jenkins, then Jenkins will copy that file into its workspace. And I want that when it copies the file, then it should copy the file with the name as myfile.json. So I have one JSON file which I want to upload while building my project as build with parameters. And then if you want to provide any description, then you can provide it over here. Or you can also skip this part. After that, let me move to the build steps. Now in the build step, what I'll do is, I'll add one PowerShell step to read the JSON file, and then I can use the content of the file to utilize in my build pipeline. And for that, let me choose PowerShell from this dropdown. I'm going to use PowerShell to read the JSON file. You can use any other option, like batch command or shell script based on your requirement. And then let me add the PowerShell code to read the JSON file. Now let me show you the file which I am going to upload. This is my file which I want to upload. And you can see that I have multiple values under this file like browser type, log level, platform name, and others as well. I can use these values to build my project or to run my test 
based on the values provided in the JSON file. For example, based on browser type, I can decide my execution or based on log level, device name, platform name, I can pass these values to further steps. Let's say that I want to read the browser type value. So let me copy this here and this code get content my file JSON convert from JSON. This code will read the JSON file and will store the content into the node variable. And then I can access the values by typing node dot browser type. This node dot browser type will return the browser type available in the JSON file. And then I can utilize this browser type value to build my further steps. So for now, let me save the project. And then I'll build the project to see how it will read the JSON file, which we are going to upload by using build with parameter option. Here, let me go to the build with parameter. Then you can see it says that this build requires parameter my file dot json so whatever the file i'll choose to upload that will be copied to the jenkins workspace and that file will be renamed as my file dot json let's say if i click on choose file and here is the location where my file is placed and i want to upload this config setting file so let me select this file when I'll build the project, then this config setting file will be copied to Jenkins workspace and this file will rename to myfile.json. Now let me show you the Jenkins workspace where the file will be copied. You can see that this is my Jenkins workspace for this project and currently I do not have a file available here. But the moment I upload the file to build the project, then this config setting file will be copied to the Jenkins workspace with the file name as my file. So now let me build this project. Here you can see the build has been started. And if I go to the workspace, then we can see this file has been copied here with the name as my file. Now let me go to the Jenkins again. Here we can see that the build has been succeeded. And if I go to the console output, then initially it copied the file to my file.json. This is the workspace where the file has been copied and the file was renamed to my file.json, which we have provided in the configuration file name parameter option. And here you can see it executed the PowerShell which I have provided in the configuration. And here it printed the browser type into the console. So this is how you can use a file as a parameter to build your project. And you can utilize the content of the file for further build steps in your build pipeline. That's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.